Hello everyone, this is Justin Rello here for Poker Savvy. Uh, tonight we're doing a live recording, and we have four tournaments on screen, um, which is a first for us, I think. I've done two tournaments basically before we don't actually have the four. Uh, I have been worried about resolution being an issue um, with these, so we'll see how it goes. Um, we'll get right into every uh, into hands. I, I feel like we should have more hands to talk about here. Um, down here, lower left, we have a... Uh, a 1k freeze out. Uh, we're going to make a, an open here from the cutoff with Jack 10 off. Um, uh, down here is a stars 100k. This is a, uh, this, we just got moved to this table. Um, but, uh, so this is a 1k down lower left. Uh, the stars 100k, which is $150 freeze out, we have uh, over here in the lower right. Up here, upper left is a $100 rebuy that's just out of the rebuy period. And the upper right is a $150 freeze out that we're an hour and 12 minutes in. and um, We have a decent stack in that. Um, started with 3,000, we're at 6,000. We will have uh, another tournament kicking on in about three minutes that'll be off screen. We also have a $30 rebuy that we already have uh, going on right now. Uh, we have a nice stack in the rebuy period, 18 minutes left in that rebuy period. And we also have a $120 bounty tournament that we'll bring on at some point uh, as well if we so uh, need to. <coughs> And uh, I'm just hoping that we get more hands to talk about here. Um, and these are all relatively early, which is something I don't think I've gone over too, too much. Normally in my replayer ones, we kind of just skim through the early tournaments because you're not really you're not playing huge pots, really, generally speaking. Um, so there's not a lot of interesting situations. But, you know, what's our major objective early in tournaments? Uh, you know, for the most part... You're trying to accumulate, but you're trying to not risk uh, a ton of chips while doing so. Um, here, pretty clear call. We're, we're going to be getting five to one, but our implied odds are even are even larger than that. Um, if we do flop the set, then we're going to be you know looking pretty good. Um, the jack eight suited down here. Chances are, if I'm in the cutoff for the button, I probably make the call. Um, in middle position, I don't really love it. Um, here, the reason I'm calling, even though I'm out of position. So I, if I do hit uh, a 7, chances are I'm going to be able to check raise, even though the ace came and checked around. But um, So I should be making some extra money off of that if I do flop a set, um, other than the 5 to 1 that I was getting to make the call. King 7 will fold. But what do we want to do early in tournaments? We want to play a lot of pots in position, because if you think about it, early in a tournament is basically when you're going to be the deepest. 